I feel like it was more towards, you know, the end part of my 20s, man, when I when I would put myself in a position to turn around. I had a great, you know, uh, early, early time being in the trees, <clears> running <throat> around, just doing that, you know, young black men do. I was able to, you know, do different things to move around. And, you know, I've always had a, a, a mindset and mentality of whatever it is that I was doing, I would put my all into. I don't care what. Whatever it was. So, you know, for me, having that understanding and just looking around, you know, feeling an empty void, bro. You yeah, feel me? Right. Like, at the end of the day, we sitting around this motherfucker. I remember looking on, um, you know, looking on TV, man, and the news came on one day. And it was just like, you know, a woman being raped oh, out yeah. on the street, right? And I think I was, like, at a bar or something. And, um... It just flashed up there, and I looked at all the brothers around like nobody gave. A fuck. You feel me? No, p people can care less about this woman or women because it was a serial rapist. It wasn't just you know, it was a serial rapist that was just out raping women. And I, don't, it was I don't mean like, to cut you off, but this was around two thousand eight, nine. No, nah, nah, this what? was this wasn't wasn't that early. No, I oh, started okay. this organization in twenty fourteen. Oh, okay. So two thousand eight, nine. Um, yeah, but I remember yeah. when there was a, a rash, yeah, the, like a lot of rapes going on, especially in this area. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it was guys pulling females in garages, killing them and raping them. No, not just raping them. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I felt the same way, but I was like, man.